Hello everyone, Robert Rambles here, and welcome to World of Warcraft, the Burning Crusade Classic. Today we are on the Night Elf Druid, and we are going to be tanking Deadmines. We have a very interesting group. We have a level 21 Night Elf Priest healing, and we have three different warriors ranging in level from 17 all the way to 20. That's right, uh, someone put together a three warrior group. Wasn't me. Uh, I did not put this group together. But uh, we were found in the looking for group system, so this is a pickup group. And yeah, I hope we're ready to go here. Let's uh, start moving in. Alright, here we go. This is going to be a pretty interesting run. Um, I'm not expecting to be able to hold threat over these warriors. A lot of, a few of them are higher level than us. And with warriors, you can pretty much be guaranteed they're going to pull threat off of you. Um, again, I didn't put this group together, but I am interested to see where it goes. Uh, we got a one sec from our healer. I hope that is actually a one second and not like a five minute kind of thing. Let's check everybody's buffs are up. I want to get my potions going. So we'll do that. Pop a couple potions. And uh, I don't think we can cast this from bear form. But uh, we'll see. It would be a nice way to kind of be able to get some additional threat right off the bat. Let's do that. I'm going to do a little experiment here. I'm going to try to cast this in bear form. Yeah, it does just pop us out. Okay. So it could be a way to pull. We could pull like that, but it's going to involve a lot of shape shifting. Which is going to cost us mana. So, yeah, we'll, we'll see how that goes. I feel like we're just going to be running at things and tanking with our face. And just kind of hoping for the best here. We do have swipe, so that's good. Swipe cost a lot of rage, apparently. <laughs> lots and lots and lots of rage there. It's going to cost us to be able to cast that ever. And without things hitting us, the the amount of rage we have is going to be pretty uh, pretty limited. So yeah, going to be a interesting time here. Let's bash that. Whoops, that was not what I wanted to do. We have taunt and stuff, but I'm not going to be taunting a lot off of these guys. Got a bunch of warriors here. We're just going to have to see if we can deal with it. We do have an enemy back here, guys. I've come to realize that, you know, basically low-level tanking on any class is kind of a challenge, especially when you have a lot of melee in your group. You just have to not care so much about holding threat on everything. If you, like, are OCD and you get really upset by not holding threat on stuff, you're going to have a miserable time as a tank. Uh, and for the most part, when there's a bunch of melee in the group, especially warriors, no one is really expecting that you're going to be able to hold threat on everything. It's, it's just not really realistic. Popping out there was not the best thing I've ever done. My keybinds are not, like, in the best places they could be. I need to maybe rethink some of my key bindings. This is the first time I've been able to tank on a druid, so... Again, I'm, I'm not expecting it to feel great. Expecting us to be able to get through the dungeon. Oh, 
I could probably pop and rage a little bit more. That would give us some more rage right off the bat to get some things going. Obviously, like, I'm not going to ever be able to compete with a warrior's charge and thunderclap, so... There is that. Uh, okay. I guess we just... Go here. I think we're stunned. Yeah, I feel like we're stunned. Even taunting off of this warrior is is not going to help. This is this is the one that's level twenty. Yeah, there's there's no way that we're going to hold threat off a level twenty warrior who's dual wielding some good weapons. It's just not going to happen. And I am not going to stress about it because that would be silly. Well, that's one boss unceremoniously put down. That wasn't so bad once we were able to get some cleaves going. Swipe, even. random greens dropping. It's too bad they're not, like, useful greens. I wish that popping in rage would, like, immediately give us enough uh, energy to swipe. That would be amazing but it doesn't.
Yeah, using auto run in a dungeon is a, is a good way to get yourself killed. That's true. We are going to hang out here for a second and let the healer get some mana back. <laughs> I'm just gonna level set with these guys like this is not me trying hard to, to make sure I have threat because that's just gonna make me hate the game you get one taunt to pull <laughs> unless it's a boss you get one taunt to pull and uh, you know Everyone's everyone's gonna be fine. Everyone is gonna be fine. Yeah, we're gonna take those. Oh, hi. Hello there, how are you? Uh, one-handed dagger? I don't think anybody here needs that. This guy is now resistant to taunt, so not really a lot we can do there. Uh, I am trying to taunt, and that part is true. There we go, we got him that time. Uh, I'm going to uh, pop a potion. Cloth gloves. I hope that the healer needs those. I hope somebody needs them. But it's not going to be any of us. Uh, what am I tracking here? I am on overall data. That's where we want to be. Don't like it showing up where the tooltips are showing up. There we go. 
Okay, everyone is looking good. Let us proceed. to be able to get some more control over this but I just don't think I have the tools to do that right now I'd love to have rage to swipe a little bit more but I don't really have the tools to do that either uh, I'm also frozen in place so I really can't move to do much of anything to help anybody there's a swipe yeah all the elites are back here and I can't move <laughs> Yeah, I can't really tell what's going on back there, except that uh, they have threat and I don't. That guy just took off and like, went full ranged on us, and I'm not going to follow him back there, but I hope he's still shooting us. He's not. He's not shooting us. Why would he be? Now he's running away again. That's great. Great. Yeah, like I only have one taunt, and it's on a cooldown, so... What a mess. <laughs> What a lovely mess this is. Yeah. Okay, good, good. We're still getting hit by something. I don't really know what. I'm gonna come back here a little bit. Okay. It was messy and awful, but it's over now. I really wish I could use something from range, from bear form. I think that's incredibly hindering to the class being a tank. Is that I have no ranged attack I can do, and I can't charge in. Uh, I don't have the talent yet. And even once I have the talent, like, I need rage to be able to charge, so... Oh, you resist it, because you're an ass. That's it, you're just an ass. Resist the first fairy fire that I try to use. How nice of you. If I could just swipe continuously, like swipe back to back to back, I could probably maintain some kind of threat on these guys, but uh, it costs so much rage to swipe that we can only do it a couple of times a pull, it seems. We are going to have a rough time over in the next room. Uh, no, not this room. The the docks. We're going to have a really rough time in the docks. Uh, with the boats, that's going to be incredibly difficult for this group, I think.
so many drops. Okay, how do we want to deal with this? Uh, well, I don't, but I'm gonna pull here, and I'm gonna try to bring him up. Uh, he's not really digging that. Here he comes. The other kind of unfortunate part about this is that I'm out DPSing two of the DPS warriors. That's not good, because I'm pretty sure if we had a mage, or a hunter, or a rogue, or a warlock, or a shaman, anybody, anybody else, uh, they'd probably be out damaging me. I mean, I don't deal a lot of damage, I don't think. <laughs> I don't think I'm dealing a lot of damage. It certainly doesn't feel like uh, I'm dealing lots of damage. We've got way too many guys here. Yeah. This is... Oh, we're dead. That's a wipe. Wipe and a half here. Uh, I'm trying to think, is there anything I can do to help control this? Not really. Maybe we'll be okay? Just out of sheer armor rating? Can I please get some more rage? Oh, we're just going to keep pulling. Okay. Got it. Yeah, because that's the problem, is like, they're eating up heals, right? They have to be healed, but they're really not putting out a lot of damage, so things are not dying. So, it's kind of a problem. And they don't have an excuse, they're getting hit, they have rage. <laughs> you got rage, use it. I wish I had rage. Okay. Yeah, this has been all the fun that I kind of thought it was going to be going into it. Well, the good thing is that that cleared most of these guys out. The bad thing is that that had to happen to begin with. Let's maybe take it one at a time for a second. Might not be a bad idea. Uh, let's see. I, I kind of want to pull this guy. 
pull him back here. Where is he? Okay. Hey guys, how's it going? How is everyone down there? Oh, you guys are doing good? Hey, me too. Oh, you noticed that I'm in combat. That's good. Step one, notice that your tank is in combat. Step two, join the tank in said combat and help him defeat said enemies. Uh, step three, question mark, question mark, question mark. Step four, success. <laughs> Rar indeed. We rar and then the enemy attacks somebody else. Okay, um, everything looks fine. We're all fine here. Yeah, the only guy we were tanking was the one guy that nobody was hitting. Which makes perfect sense. Uh, six intellect, so much caster gear. It's like, the, it's like the dungeon knows that we don't have any casters and it's been dropping all of this really awesome caster gear that I've never seen before in my life. Uh, and yeah, that's great. It's so great. So, so amazing. Uh, yeah, we are, we're stuck in place. That's awesome. Oh my gosh, where are you running? Yeah, you can just stop running around. That'd be fine. Thorns would be good. I wish I had thorns up. Thorns would be good. Don't really know how much it's going to help, but it can't hurt. We also need buffs. I'd love to be able to kind of stop for a minute. Buff everybody up for a second. Oh, we're still pulling? Okay, good. Perfect. Yeah, we need the gunpowder item, which is going to be back over here. Check out that noise! Yeah. 
We're under attack! Avast, you swabs! Repel the invaders! I'm going to wait for the healer to get some mana back, because that's the responsible thing to do. I'm also going to come back here and loot these bodies for the same reason. We do have a boss we're going to take on here. I feel like the healer has enough mana. It's probably fine. So the music kicked up there for a minute and the music decided that it was just going to fall flat. I kinda wish some of these ads were dead, but they all have like a little bit of health left. Hey, 
Hey, we successfully tanked him most of the time, so that's good. Look, a one-handed axe. That would be really good for a warrior tank. So far, we've got nothing to drop in this dungeon that we could even think about rolling on, really. That was, you know, from a boss. It's fine. It's all fine. Uh, let's see. Healer is getting mana back. Looks basically good. Uh, I can't line of sight either of these guys. Are you kidding me with this? Uh, can we come back down here, please? Like, all the way down here would be great. Like, they're also using Thunderclap, as someone's using Thunderclap as part of their DPS rotation, and I'm pretty sure Thunderclap, by default, does a high amount of threat. Um, I don't think it does a lot of damage, but it does do threats. Well, now that we cleared out, like, basically the entire top part... We are, yeah, we are almost dead. We were pretty close to being dead there, I just didn't notice. I think if we clear this way, there's sometimes a, an additional mini-boss. I don't know if they're, like, always up. But I am going to try to pull this guy back. he is. Is he going to walk much further? If so, we can get him by himself. And there we go, yet another wand. More caster shit. It's really good.
I just want to tell this groovy war warrior at the end of this run, like, you have successfully now tanked as a fury warrior, you should just always queue as a tank and help groups out, because there's no reason for you to queue up as DPS. <laughs> You're gonna be tanking the run anyway. It's funny, I really thought having swipe was gonna give us an edge as a tank, but it's useless. <laughs> It's f***ing useless because it costs so much rage to do it and it doesn't deal any additional threat. It would really need a threat boost on it for it to be incredibly useful as a tank. It's nice to hit three things but when it's doing 12 damage to each of those things and it's not generating any additional threat it just kind of sucks. Yeah, it just sucks like period. Alright what all did we get here? A few guys. I guess I probably could have needed that staff. Agility and spirit would probably be better than uh, stamina and intellect. Oh well. Uh, what's going on up here? I don't think I don't think we're at risk here. Whoops! That was not what I wanted to do. Okay, up, up, up we go. Healer's mana is good. I think I want to like pull these guys down here. Yep, let's let's do this. I'm really surprised that they didn't pull. Hi. Oh good. <laughs> are we within range? Yeah, we are still within range to hit them. That's good at least. I'm gonna try not to judge this uh, druid tank too much, like, until I've tanked on it with a group that wasn't all warriors, I think would be, like, the responsible thing to do would just be to withhold my judgment. Uh, right now, I'd have to say, like, yeah, I can see how, like, someone would try tanking once and just end up hating it. I, I don't feel that way, because I kind of knew going in that we were never gonna hold threat on anything in this in this dungeon. Uh, let's, let's just rethink this here. 
Uh, I wanna... I want these guys to come down because I saw a huge group up there. <laughs> and, uh, hi, where are you going? Okay, you can just piss off, I guess. Uh, intellect and spirits. Nope. Nope. Oh, good! Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, yep. So that's awesome. I don't have a res. So... Yeah. I don't know if I'm supposed to have a res yet. We trained, and we didn't train a res. So, there is that. I'm gonna do a cut here, and we're gonna figure out uh, how to come back from this. I guess we're gonna be waiting for folks to come back in. This is gonna count as an official wipe. If the healer goes down, we can't get him up. The mobs don't reset. That's a wipe in my book, so... Wipe number one. Well, we're back, sort of. We're, we're having some issues with this group here, but I think we're sorting it out. We've also maybe lost somebody coming back into the dungeon, so we're, we're formatting it right now. We have one of our warriors somewhere near the entrance. And we are struggling to just deal with these guys. Um, one of the birds bugged out here and then attacking it pulled these guys down from the top part. Not sure if we're going to be able to do this with four people. Um, not sure what happened to our last group mates. Seems like they just got themselves back into the dungeon then stopped making any effort to come find us. Uh, obviously without opening the map and being able to see them on a map I can't say that for sure. But what I can say is they're not here yet and... We've been here for a little bit. So yeah, that's unfortunate. Uh, we did hit our level here. Let's go ahead and just put another point into Feral Instincts, increasing that, uh, supposedly increasing threat generation a little bit. And we'll try to work our way up here and keep clearing to the end. I think we're pretty close to the last boss. Maybe one more group to go. Okay, backing it up. Nope. Nope. <laughs> nope. 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 This is an annoying... <laughs> I think I've come to kind of hate this dungeon. I used to really like this dungeon a lot. There are like some areas where you can pull additional enemies by getting too close to a wall. And uh, we've been doing a lot of that and it makes this very, very not fun. And here we go, we got a bird bugged out again. So what's going to happen is when we go to attack this bird, if it behaves like the last bird that got bugged out, it's going to pull that entire group that we were just in combat with right down to us. Now we can probably kill the bird really quick. Probably kill the bird really quick. Birds are bugged, don't attack him. Oh, I'm not going to attack him then. Let's, let's not attack him. Let's just keep going. Yeah, let's ignore the bugged out bird that's going to pull every freaking enemy up here. And uh, let's just keep going, because right now we've, we've got to freaking find a way to four-man this. I want to pull all the way back here into this corner. I'd very much like to complete this dungeon. We, we took a lot of time to get here. I don't believe that we're going to get anything useful from this place. But it would be nice to complete it. We did get to level 19, and that's always good. But yeah, we, we seem to have a... A, mess, a missing group mate. Uh, we'll say that. I'm gonna pull them down here, because I don't want to fight up there. I don't know if there's anything else up there or what.
Hey, look at that! Another staff. It's it's great. We've gotten all this caster gear. It's been really ama a really amazing time. If you're a, a caster, I don't I don't even think that the that the healer has needed most of this stuff. Was that the last boss, or is there actually one more? I really I always get confused between the pre cataclysm dead mines and the post cataclysm. It looks like there's one more guy. Um, our our buddy's been AFK for about 15 minutes. So, yeah. So we're going in. He's summoning in more and more guys. Our cause is righteous. Oh shit. And we can't have them attacking the, the healer. <laughs> can't have them attacking the healer. got this under control for the moment. We we are going to die here. But I feel like that's probably okay as long as we get the last boss. Yeah, he's down, so... Oh, no! <laughs> oh, gosh. Come on, guys. You probably can't do it, but it's fine. Oh, my gosh. What's this? Stamina and agility? Yeah. Oh, they were so close. I'm, I'm probably not going to run back just for that item, am I? Uh, they can reset it if he runs down to the... Uh, if he runs down to the barrel, they can reset this. Yeah, jump down, man. No, jump down. Come on, man. Oh, you're too short. Are you kidding me? <laughs> he couldn't get away. Did the healer get away? Oh... God, you died pathetically like a gnome might do trying to hurdle a box that was a little bit too tall for him. Yeah, they're not running, so I, I think that the uh, healer got out of out of combat, got down to the water wheel. And, uh, yeah. Hey, we got the item. Can't equip it to level 20. And uh, it was a run. So that's something. And yeah, guys, I, I think that's going to be it. I think that's that's the end of the of the run. I would like to get a res because I want to get out through this uh, through the rear entrance over here, if that's possible. Yeah, it's more or less over. Yeah, it basically is over. Um, but yeah. Yeah, you could try to res. I don't even think he needs to res. Anyway, guys, I'm going to wrap up the video here. Thank you all so much for watching today. I really appreciate all the support. If you enjoyed the video, consider liking and subscribing to the channel. That would help me out a lot. And if you want to support the channel more directly, check out the join button on YouTube or find me over on Patreon. Thank you those that do. That is what's going to help me keep doing this kind of stuff far into the future, and I greatly appreciate it. Thank you guys for being here. Take care of yourselves out in the real world and take care of each other. And we will see you back in Azeroth sometime soon. Bye now.